when you run into trouble with Windows 10. Explaining what the issue is and trying to understand how it can be fixed can be very frustrating for both the user and anyone trying to help. Luckily enough, Microsoft steps in yet again with another built-in tool to get everyone on the same page, the Steps Recorder. So if you need to show the IT guy the error that pops up when you do something, or you just need to show grandma how to update Windows, here's how to do it. To start, tap your Windows key, type in Step Recorder, then hit Enter. A toolbar will pop up for you to use. Before you begin, you can opt to toggle screenshots on or off, or limit the number of screenshots the app will take from the Settings menu. Click on the question icon on the right and select Settings to view your options. Once that's set, just click on Start Record to start recording. The app will record every mouse click and every bit of keyboard activity from here on out, taking a screenshot and generating a small description as you do so. The generated description for each of your clicks might be a little bit technical, and the app does not record any text that you type in. You can add additional comments specifying what you type or click by clicking on the Add Comment. Once your tool pops up, click and drag to highlight an area of the screen, then add in your comment using the text box below. Once you finish recording everything, click on the Stop Record button on the toolbar, and it will show you a preview of everything it managed to record. Clicking on Save will save your steps as a zipped MHT file in a folder of your choice. While MHT files can technically be opened on any browser, most modern browsers do not work well with them due to security issues. If your screenshots do not show up on your browser of choice, or if you just need to send this to someone else, you may need to convert your file to PDF using Internet Explorer. Luckily, it still comes buried within Windows 10. To find it, tap on your Windows key, type Internet Explorer, and click on the relevant result that pops up. If none pop up, feel free to download and reinstall it manually using the link in the description below. Once you've got it up and running, just drag and drop your MHT file onto the page, and Internet Explorer will render it perfectly. Once it loads up, right-click on the page itself and select Print. On the printing menu that pops up, choose Microsoft Print to PDF or Save as PDF, then click Print. This will open a File Explorer window for you to select a location and name for your file. Once you have those set, click on Save and you're done! If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows 10 and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy. Thank you.